With the release of P6 Professional Revision 8.3, Oracle Primavera has introduced a new tool called the P6 Visualizer. This tool brings together the original timescale logic diagram and a new style Gantt chart in an elegant and simple to use viewing window. The P6 Visualizer is a separate application that can be run from the Tools menu within P6 Professional or directly from your Windows Start menu. Let's log into the P6 Visualizer now and take a brief look at its functionality. In the main window, you will see five options listed on the window header. You can click on these to see the options they offer. Starting with the Add option, this allows you to add a new timescale logic diagram or Gantt chart to the visualizer. The next button allows you to access an existing timescale logic diagram or Gantt chart. Next is the print option. Following this is the help option offering both local and online help. The more option allows you to either manage a layout or exit the application. Let's see how we go about adding a new Gantt chart to the P6 visualizer. First, we click on the Add button and choose New Gantt from the menu. This opens a simple wizard that allows us to choose one or more projects to create a Gantt chart for. In the available projects list, we can see a hierarchy that is based upon the enterprise project structure that exists in the P6 database. We can drill down and then select a project using the arrow button to move it to the selected projects list. Once we've made our selection, we can click the next button. In this next page, we can create a layout based upon an existing layout or create one from scratch using the create new radio button. We enter a name for the new layout in the name field and finally click on the draw button to create the new Gantt chart view. Once the new Gantt chart loads, we are seeing the default settings for the new chart. We can now scroll around the view to see the Gantt chart bars and different activities from our chosen project. At the top right of the screen, there is an options button. We can click on this to make adjustments to our Gantt chart layout. Starting with the chart and grid page, we can use these options to add or remove columns, define the row on which the items appear, and adjust the font for the selected field. To add columns to the Gantt chart, we click on the Add button above the field list. This inserts a new column that defaults to Activity ID. By clicking on the Activity ID field name, we can select from the same list of columns that are available in P6 Professional. Let's add Activity Percent Complete to our list. Let's also add Activity Status. With a field selected, you can adjust the font and determine your text wrapping criteria. Let's take a brief look at the other pages available in the options area, starting with the timescale. Here you can adjust the start and finish dates for the timescale, modify its font and modify its number of tiers and the display criteria for each of them. There's also an additional zoom area option. By clicking the add button to the right of the primary tab, you can define the details for one or more zoom areas in the Gantt. So if you wanted to see more detail for a particular range of dates, you can add a zoom area to do this. Let's say we wanted to zoom in on February. We can set the custom start and finish date fields to achieve this. We can make this zoom area stand out visually by clicking on the background color button. The color set here will be the background color for the time scale back in the Gantt chart. The next option is bars and labels which allows us to change the appearance of the bars in the Gantt chart. By clicking down the list of available bars, you can see their appearance in the preview windows. Adjustments can be made in the properties, fill and shape areas of this page. The lines page allows you to modify the relationship lines, connections, the data date line and activity grouping lines. The relationship lines have additional functionality for showing non-driving, non-critical, driving, non-critical, and critical line style options. The group and sort tab offers the ability to organize the activities in the Gantt chart based on your requirements. In this example, we are setting the group by field to WBS name using the search field at the top of the list. 
The filters view allows you to select from existing filters or create your own user filters. Using the add button you can add a user filter, name it in the filter name area and then use the details area to define the criteria for the filter in much the same way as you can in P6 Professional or P6 EPPM. Finally, there are page setup options that allow you to control how the Gantt chart will appear when printed to hard copy or a PDF file. You can adjust the scaling, paper sizes and margins in the Pages tab. The Title Block tab provides controls for configuring the header and footer sections for the report for the first page, last page, all pages or no pages. The Spacing tab provides an option for controlling the line spacing of the final report. The Timescale Logic Diagram provides almost identical options to the Gantt chart with the exception of the chart and grid options. Most of the options offered in the Visualizer are similar in nature to those of its P6 professional counterpart and so it's fairly easy to pick up and run with all the Visualizer's capabilities. We hope you found this brief overview of the Oracle Primavera P6 Visualizer helpful. 106 Consulting offers a full range of implementation, consulting and educational services in support of the Primavera P6 range of products. For more information contact 106 today or visit our website at 106consulting.com.